Final inductee, and by the way, Jackie Joyner, she became ill. She was all set to come here, unfortunately. Uh, she was not able to make it due to illness, and we wish her quick and speedy recovery. Our next inductee, our final inductee of the evening, Ronnie Lott. When you talk about football heroes, football legends, Ronnie Lott fills every and clicks every box. Professional football player, cornerback safety in the National Football League for 14 seasons from 1980 to the 1990s. He played college football for University of Southern California, was honored as a consensus All-American. He was the first round pick in the NFL draft in 1981 for the San Francisco 49ers. He also played for the Los Angeles Raiders, New York Jets, Kansas City Chiefs of the NFL, and was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2000, and is widely considered to be one of the best of all time at the safety position in all of NFL history and one of the best players in the history of the NFL. Again, he was selected in the first round in the 81 draft by the 49ers, had a stellar career and helped the 49ers win Super Bowl 16 and also became the second rookie in NFL history to return three interceptions for touchdowns. His outstanding play had him finishing second in rookie of the year at that time and he led the league with 10 career best 10 interceptions while recording 77 tackles, three forced fumbles, and two quarterback sacks. In his 10 years of the 49ers, he helped them win eight division titles and four Super Bowls, Super Bowl 16, Super Bowl 19, Super Bowl 23, and Super Bowl 24 in 1989. He is one of only five players that were on all four of the 1980s 49ers Super Bowl wins. He was elected to the, again, to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2000, his first year of eligibility for the Hall of Fame, and named to the NFL's 75th anniversary team in 1994 with the 100th anniversary team in 2019. Imagine being all pro eight times, all NFC six times, and all, N all AFC. One of the hardest hitting, most efficient open field tacklers in the history of football. Let's give it up for champion NFL football legend, Ronnie Lott. <laughs> Marcus Allen is gonna help. <laughs> legend Marcus Allen putting on Ronnie Lott. How lucky am I? Um, I'm sitting here uh, with my roommate in college. And um, as I'm sitting here thinking of a uh, hamburger helper, and um, you know, there were so many moments in my life where um, I've had a chance to sit with him to talk about exhausting life. Not, not football, but exhausting life. And if you think about what that truly means, it means every day, every day, you're finding a way to better yourself. You're finding a way to exhaust every moment. And when I think about my life with him, I know I'm better. I know I'm better because he's been in my life. And so I want to thank you, Marcus, for being my best friend but being a, a friend that really understands how to make sure I exhaust every moment. I want to thank my family. I want to thank so many people that uh, have been a part of my life, but I want to salute this group. You know, sometimes we, we talk, but do we listen? Do we feel them? Now, as they got up, I wanted to make sure I felt you. I wanted to make sure I understood where you're from. I wanted to understand the trials, the toughness, the failures, all the things that you've gone through. Because I know that that's what you've done. So I want to salute you one more time. And if you guys can stand up and salute them, please.
last, for all of us, um, may we find ourselves trying to help others. And when I mean help others, I want us to try to find a way to exhaust those moments. There are so many people that we see every day. They're just looking for a hand up, not a hand out. And I know for a fact that if we just give them a hand up, that we could change their lives. Think about that. I want you to imagine that. I want you to understand what that's like. I want you to understand how that feels. I've had a chance to be around Arnold. And I've had a chance to be around people like him. And when I look at some of the things that he's done, beyond just being a great lifter, beyond just being a part of our community in California where he was the governor. I mean, sometimes you forget that you can dream and you can change people's lives. Literally change people's lives. Just being who you are, just showing up. That's why today is so special. Because two weeks ago, I'm sitting in my backyard feeling pretty good. And now here I am struggling with some screws and some cages in my back. Because you never know. You never know. But you got to learn how to fight. And you got to learn how to take advantage of these moments. And so today, again, Marcus, thank you, brother. Again, thank all of you guys for showing up. Life is about showing up and making plays. And I really appreciate all of what you've done and thank you, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Fairfax. Thank you, and thank your father. Thank your father. God bless you guys, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say a few words uh, on behalf of Jackie, but first, uh, the better parts of me is because of Ronnie Lott. As he mentioned, my roommate in college, I didn't have to look any further than uh, the guy that was standing next to me for an inspiration um, role model, a guy that um, was a great example of what um, a human being uh, is, all, a great human being is all about. Um, Jackie unfortunately couldn't make it. The last minute she uh, became ill. And, and many of us know Jackie as one of the great athletes in Olympic history. But I don't think many of you know that Jackie um, is one of the great humanitarians and great philanthropists um, of our time. Uh, the same effort that she put into becoming a great um, athlete, she puts into saving the lives of kids, educating kids, and empowering kids in the most dangerous area um, in the United States, East St. Louis. Every single day she puts an effort to try to save lives, to educate kids, and empower people. So part of this, uh, this award is it's about not only what the athletes have done in their, in their sport, but what they've done off the track and field. And she has certainly, um, she is certainly deserving. And I know uh, if she was here, she would congratulate every, everyone that's up here on stage and, and thank Fairfax and Dr. Bob and, and the International Sports Hall of Fame but more importantly, all you people that are here um, today. I was um, inducted in 2021, and I had the great fortune, guys, of my nine-year-old son putting the medal around my, uh, my neck. 
And I had such a great experience that I said, uh, Ronnie, this is something that you should be a part of. And I was trying to do whatever I can to be supportive of uh, this great event. And as Ronnie said, um, congratulations to everyone up here. Um, there's another saying that Ronnie and I both have, um, and this really made it easy for us to transition um, out of our sport. It's like, this is what we do, it's not who we are. And we're much more than what we did on the field. But we also believe you're rich by what you give and you're poor by what you keep. So I want you guys to remember that. Take that with you. And hopefully, um, it'll be great to see. If we don't see all of you next year, but we'll see some of you next year. So thank you very much. Right. We're going to have a, a group picture now, guys. We will now take our traditional class pictures. Picture.